Hola, mis amigos. It is I, Captain Poopy Pants. <sighs> no, seriously. Uh, Agent of Doubt here once again. And today for Ramble Time, first I just want to say, I really did feel like I was going to have more to say in the past two weeks uh, because of going to grad school and, uh, you know, being signed up for uh, a few more classes than normally people would because for some reason I was supposed to be in a cohort model that started in the fall and it got delayed, I think due to the lack of instructors. And so uh, now I have the same graduation date, but a uh, shorter amount of, of school. And to do this, they're like doubling up on the classes for a couple semesters. That's that's awesome. But uh, yeah, I, I figured that I would have a lot to talk about. You know, things that I had come across that uh, either were were phenomenal or didn't sit well with me. I would be talking to you guys about. Um, <clears throat> and a little backstory for those of you who. Are just subscribing to me. Uh, I'm an addiction counselor now. I have a bachelor's degree. I want to get better. Going for a master's. Simple as that, right? <laughs> so, uh, those of you who are longtime viewers of me know that I've been part of uh, the skeptic and atheist communities for a very, very long time. Uh, even before I found the YouTube community, I had been living the life for, well, since high school, really, um, as, as an out and vocal person, uh, and I, I'm always just amazed at, at how it comes up at different times in your life when, when you're not expecting to be uh, basically an analog for marginalized people, you know. And I say analog because I have a choice of whether or not to go along with bullshit, right? I have the ability to pass when, when things happen like, oh, everybody wants to say a prayer before Thanksgiving dinner. You know, I don't have to. I don't even have to bow my head, you know. But I can go along with it just to go along to get along, you know, at any point. And that's how I feel about uh, atheism is, yeah, it, it creates a hell of a lot of cognitive dissonance in my head all of the time. Where I see shit that just should not be. But I don't have to open my mouth. I can pass, I can hide as somebody who is not somebody who will rock the boat at any point that I want. So I say uh, an analog for marginalized because I, I feel marginalized on the inside living in a culture where uh, belief in magic is the norm, <laughs> you know. And belief that our magic is actually miracles because it comes from our gods and all the other magic in the world is regular magic. That's also the norm. you know. And nobody wants to call their magic regular magic. It's miracle magic. Anyways, um, <laughs> so when, when I'm a, as an outsider trying to describe someone's beliefs to them. Sometimes I run into problems like that where people would prefer I not call their miracles magic. People would not uh, like me to pluralize the word gods when I actually do mean gods. You know, they, they, they're like, nope, 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 there's only one. <laughs> it's in three parts or whatnot, but it's, it's only one, you know. Something like that. Um, and, and really, I, I'm speaking or writing sometimes 
my truth, you know, from my perspective. Uh, this is the way it looks. When you say these things, I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> you know, and I call shit like it is. And at different points in my life, it has popped up where, you know, I, I really do realize that uh, I've chosen uh, as part of living my own truth you know, and being true to myself. I've chosen when I tell people that I'm an atheist that uh, I'm going to get some shit for it. You know, be it when I was in the army and had a sergeant uh, in a Humvee with me that, you know, while he was driving, he wanted me to read to him a religious book that he felt was inspiring the first time he read it. So he wanted to know that I was reading it, so he had me read it out loud to him you know stuff like that um, and when I'm uh, doing the, the level of counseling that I am doing you know which is low on the totem pole right I, I'm not doing one-on-one uh, -on -one therapy yet at this juncture in my career I do uh, a different kind of work that I am licensed to do by the state, right? I'm not doing, you know, repeat visits with people. You know, the, I'm doing brief intervention, right? At that point, you know, I have maybe an hour to sell someone on the idea of therapy, let's say. And this is a person that needs it. In that hour, I would never self-disclose to somebody who didn't need to hear it that I was an atheist, let alone any other part of my life. But it, once I learned that somebody uh, loves to go to church, uh, feels like they've been led to see me by their higher power, whatever it is, I'm pretty much shutting up about myself because what I've run into is uh, more than just people feeling like I am no longer able to counsel them because I don't have my own affairs in order because I don't believe in their gods. I have a fear of that being in the case. right? That fear leads me to uh, stay away from that that sort of self-disclosure that would let them know that I'm not like them. And I finally come to a point in my uh, courses in grad school, in week two, where uh, <clears throat> I'm on a, a required discussion board and the instructions say, discuss the importance of of understanding yourself and how self-reflection and self-awareness may contribute to the various theory or theories that you gra will gravitate towards. Right? And, and it, it's at this point that I realize oh shit! I really can't get around my, my classmates figuring out that I'm an atheist. At least a very strict skeptic, because the uh, theories that I gravitate towards are those that are more empirical and that produce the goods. Science, evidence-based theories, those are the ones that I love. And... Uh, <clears throat> I tend to shy away from things like the word holistic. Whenever I see the word holistic, I'm like, okay, what sort of magic are you trying to shoehorn into your approach when you say holistic? You know, holistic has a meaning that isn't exactly bad, but whenever I see the word holistic, when, when a, a person puts it in their bio, that in their practice they like to... Uh, 
engage people spiritually and uh, they have a holistic approach, I'm like, okay, there's woo. You know, it might be working for their clients. I'm not going to judge on that level because uh, in my field, the specific field of addictions counseling, I've gotten to the point where if it works to get them off drugs, it's good in the moment. <laughs> you know, I, I've seen some really horrible horror stories and uh, yeah. I also have to refer people to things that they're likely to engage with. Like, if they're religious, I do send them to 12-step groups. Even though I disagree with a lot of the things that the 12-step groups say. Uh, <clears throat> most notably, the I recognize that I'm powerless against my addiction thing that's in all of the different 12-steps. That, that uh, step of the 12 steps, I'm like, I would never, ever tell one of my clients that they were powerless to change on their own. I'd never do that. And part of that is my perspective of not believing in magic and woo. You know, not believing in their gods, not believing that when they, these people who go to 12-step groups do become sober that it was actual magic that came down from the sky and zapped them in the head and made them not addicted anymore. No. I believe that it was the fellowship that they encountered being very, a very powerful influence on them and their own hard work. And if I did not believe that people could change without God Almighty zapping them in the head... I wouldn't be a counselor. I'd be a priest. You know. And it, it's dawned on me here in week two in my, in my grad school classes that I'm probably going to have some interesting talks with uh, not clients this time around. This is actually going to be other professionals in my field who will not think that I'm capable to give counseling to anyone because I don't have my own affairs in order because I don't believe in their gods. And here we go again. <laughs>